All right, let's settle this once and for all. Could you actually surf a tsunami? Sounds cool, but spoiler alert, it's probably the worst idea ever. First, let's talk physics. Normal ocean waves? They're formed by wind pushing water around, creating those smooth, surfable swells. But tsunamis? They're a whole different beast. They're caused by earthquakes, underwater landslides, or volcanic eruptions, meaning they don't just roll in, they charge forward like a wall of destruction. Here's the problem. Unlike regular waves, tsunamis don't press like those perfect curls you see in surfing competitions. Instead, they're more like a fast-moving flood, like a massive surge of water that bulldozes everything in its path. Trying to ride that would be like trying to surf an avalanche. And let's talk speed. Tsunamis can travel up to 500 miles per hour in deep water. That's faster than a jet plane. By the time they hit shallow areas, they slow down, but they also grow taller, sometimes over 100 feet high. You're not riding that, you're getting swallowed whole. Now what about survival myths? People say things like, just swim under it or ride it out. Yeah, nope. Scientists say the best chance of survival isn't surfing, it's getting as far away as possible and reaching higher ground. So, could you surf a tsunami? Technically, if you had a board, we're already moving at insane speeds and defied every law of physics maybe, but realistically, it's impossible and incredibly dangerous. So if you ever see a tsunami warning, forget the surfboard, run!